Islam in History, Lesson 10 Muhammad Claims Prophethood Blessings and Peace be upon him Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim In the name of Allah, the Most Gracious, the Most Merciful In the year 609 CE, Common Era, Muhammad began calling to the message There is no God worthy of worship besides Allah, the One God, and Muhammad is the Messenger of God. His claim to be a messenger was believed by some and rejected by others. So let us examine the evidences. History Lineage of Prophets God has chosen prophets from the descendants of earlier prophets. And we gave to him Isaac and Jacob, and we placed in his descendants prophethood and scripture. And we gave him his reward in this world, and indeed, he is in the hereafter among the righteous. Muhammad's lineage, blessings and peace be upon him. After Adam, the first man, Noah was the next messenger, followed by many other messengers, then came Abraham, who had his two sons, Isaac and Ishmael. From the lineage of Isaac came many prophets, including Moses and Jesus. And from the lineage of Ishmael came Muhammad, blessings and peace be upon him. Historical records Muhammad's name was mentioned in the Qur'an, and those who believe and do righteous deeds and believe in what has been sent down upon Muhammad, it is the truth from their Lord. He will remove them their misdeeds and amend their condition. And he was also referred to by the name Ahmed, who Jesus prophesied would come. And when Jesus, the son of Mary, said, O children of Israel, Indeed, I am the messenger of Allah to you, confirming what came before me of the Torah and bringing good tidings of a messenger to come after me, whose name is Ahmed. But when he came to them with clear evidences, they said, This is obvious magic. The following are excerpts from ancient Hindu texts. A Malekha, foreigner, spiritual teacher, will appear with his companions. His name will be Muhammad. Ahmed acquired religious law from his Lord. This religious law is full of wisdom. I receive light from him just as from the sun. And neither the hosts of demigods nor the great sages know of my origin. Ahmed is the name of a man who will demolish demigods and demisages. It appears that the Hindu scriptures contain a variety of scripts and it is possible that the teachings from previous messengers had been passed on in these texts. The Old Testament Muhammad His mouth is sweet, oh yeah, translated as, he is altogether lovely. This is my beloved, this is my friend, O oh daughters of Jerusalem. Some people have claimed that Muhammad in the previous verse is in the plural form, Muhammadim, and isn't referring to one prophet. However, the plural form is also used for reverence and respect as is illustrated in this verse. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The word God, Eloh, is written in plural form, Elohim, for reverence and respect and not translated plural. Additionally, all the pronouns referring to the same person in the previous verse were singular. His, this is my friend, as opposed to, these are my friends. From the New Testament, I have yet many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. Howbeit, when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that he shall speak and he will show you things to come. He shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine, and shall show it unto you. In this chapter, Jesus is telling the people that they are not ready for the completion of his message, and the Spirit of Truth is referring to Muhammad, blessings and peace be upon him who will speak the words of God and guide to the truth. If Jesus were referring to himself, as some Christians claim, he would not have used the third person pronoun, he. The Gospels of Barnabas And Barnabas and Saul returned from Jerusalem, when they had fulfilled their ministry, and took with them John, whose surname was Mark. Know, O Barnabas, that for this I must have great persecution. 
I shall abide in that dishonor for a long time in the world. But when Muhammad shall come, the sacred messenger of God, that infamy shall be taken away. And this shall God do, because I have confessed the truth of the Messiah, who shall give me this reward, that I shall be known to be alive and to be a stranger to that death of infamy. From the Gospel of Barnabas, chapter 112. It is important to note that the Bible referred to in the Quran is the original revelation given to Jesus, peace be upon him, which he then wrote down. However, there are no original writings of Jesus that have survived until today. The teachings of Jesus available today are only translations, and even then testimonies of second or third generation accounts. Hence, the name Ahmad is not found in these distant teachings. Although some remnants of the truth have survived, they must be verified by authentic revelation. Account of the first revelation. Will his companions follow him if they could see he was a liar? No, but he couldn't read or write. Those who follow the messenger, the unlettered prophet, whom they find written in what they have of the Torah and the gospel, who enjoins upon them what is right and forbids them what is wrong, and makes lawful for them the good things and prohibits for them the evil, and relieves them of their burden and the shackles which were upon them. So they who have believed in him, honoured him, supported him, and followed the light which was sent down with him, it is those who will be the successful. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he says, I cannot read. Matthew Henry interpreted the book in his commentary of the Bible as saying, The Bible is a sealed book. However, this verse is a prophecy of the final scripture which was yet to come. Narrated Aisha The commencement of the divine inspiration to Allah's apostle was in the form of good dreams, which came true like bright daylight, and then the love of seclusion was bestowed upon him. He used to go in seclusion in the cave of Hira, where he used to worship Allah alone, continuously for many days before his desire to see his family. He used to take with him food for the journey and time he stayed, and then come back to his wife Khadija to take his food likewise again, till suddenly the truth descended upon him while he was in the cave of Hira. The angel came to him and asked him to read. The prophet replied, I do not know how to read. The prophet added, The angel caught me forcefully and pressed me so hard that I could not bear it any more. He then released me and again asked me to read, and I replied, I do not know how to read. Thereupon he caught me again and pressed me a second time till I could not bear it any more. He then released me and again asked me to read, but again I replied, I do not know how to read, or what shall I read? Thereupon he caught me for the third time and pressed me, and then released me and said, Read in the name of your Lord, who has created, created man from a clot, Read, and your Lord is the most generous. Signs Signs of Prophethood Learned Christians and Jews would inform others about signs which would indicate if someone was a messenger. A Christian priest advised the following. He will appear in the land of the Arabs and will migrate to a land between two harras, two fields of black rocks, between which there are palm trees. He will have characteristics that will not be hidden. He will eat of what is given as a gift, but will not eat of what is given as charity. Between his shoulder blades is the seal of prophethood. Signs which were all confirmed by Salman al-Farisi, who then became Muslim. And a Jewish scholar told the men of the Quraysh tribe to ask about three matters which only a true messenger could answer. The strange and wondrous story of the young men, the man who travelled from east to west, and to ask about the ruh, the spirit or soul, which were answered in the Qur'an in chapters 17 and 18. And other learned men presented other questions to test his authenticity, which were all answered accordingly. Proofs Qur'anic Proof The main proof supporting the claim of Muhammad, blessings and peace be upon him, is the Qur'an. It is unmatched in Arabic grammar, even though Arabic was at its peak and poetic computations would take place for the elite, the noblest of society at the time. It is unmatched in Arabic eloquence. It is unmatched in Arabic rhythm. It is uncontradicting. 
It is unmatched in purity of original text, and it was authored by an illiterate man. And God asks those who doubt to match just one chapter. And if you are in doubt about what we have sent down upon our servant Muhammad, then produce a surah the like thereof and call upon your witnesses other than Allah if you should be truthful. But if you do not, and you will never be able to, then fear the fire whose fuel is men and stones, prepared for the disbelievers. How many of you, in your own language, can write an article, meaning and rhythmical? If you write something, you will change it. You will find a better way to express yourself. How many texts do you find are revised editions or edited by someone? An illiterate man could never have produced this masterpiece. Therefore, it must have been from God. Today, some people claim to have produced a chapter with which they try to mislead others. But they must present their chapter to Arabic scholars, scholars who know the classical Arabic and not just a local slang dialect, and those who know if they are being presented with an abrogated verse, and then call upon your witnesses. Is it suitable for you to judge a Japanese poetry contest if you only know a few words of Japanese? No, you must be qualified. So likewise, the judges must be qualified Arabic scholars. Prophecy. Prophecies are also a sign the message is from God. The Byzantines have been defeated in the nearest land, but after their defeat, they will overcome within three to nine years. To Allah belongs the command before and after, and that day the believers will rejoice in the victory of Allah. He gives victory to whom he wills, and he is the exalted in might, the merciful. This verse was revealed in about 615 CE and the Romans won the battle in 620 CE. In order to deny God's messenger, some have claimed that the word victorious in Arabic, when written, could also have been defeated by changing the vowels. But as will be discussed further in the next lesson, the Quran was transmitted verbally, whereby each of the vowels are clearly pronounced. Throughout the course of the prophethood of Muhammad, blessings and peace be upon him, he also related over 100 future events which would come to pass, and many of them have. These prophecies are referred to as signs of the last days. Scientific proof. Allah is the creator of the heavens and the earth. Therefore, it is he who created all the natural laws of physics. This means the Quran is in full agreement with all aspects of science, such as the creation of the baby in the womb. And certainly did we create man from an extract of clay, then we placed him as a sperm drop in a firm lodging, then we made the sperm drop into a clinging clot, and we made the clot into a lump of flesh, and we made the lump bones, and we covered the bones with flesh, then we developed him into another creation, so blessed is Allah, the best of creators. Allah's Apostle, the true and truly inspired, narrated to us, the creation of every one of you starts with the process of collecting the material for his body within 40 days and 40 nights in the womb of his mother. Then he becomes a clot of thick blood for a similar period. Then he becomes like a piece of flesh for a similar period. Then an angel is sent to him and the angel is allowed or ordered to write four things. His livelihood, his death, his deeds, and whether he will be a wretched or blessed one in the hereafter and then the soul is breathed into him. So the development of the baby in the womb. These are the stages mentioned in the Quran and Hadith. 1. We placed him as a sperm drop in a firm lodging. 2. Then we made the sperm drop into a clinging clot. The word alaqa is also used in Arabic to refer to a leech, and here you can see the resemblance it has to a leech. We made the clot into a lump of flesh. And we made from the lump bones. You can clearly see the spinal cord in the diagram. And we covered the bones with flesh. This is after about 12 weeks. Some people have claimed that Muhammad used to cut women open in order to discover these things. 
This is absurd, as it would have required him to dissect many bodies in order for him to discover the sequence and timing of fetal development. Furthermore, microscopes and equipment required to detect these developments were not discovered until recently. Do they stop at nothing to deny the truth? Motivations Before becoming a messenger, Muhammad was known amongst the Arabs to be honest and trustworthy. He would assist them in their disputes, and even after Islam they left their valuables in his trust. Given Muhammad had such an impeccable, well-known character, his claim to be a messenger from God is evidence in and of itself. And on further analysis, it is clear he had no motivation to lie. They said he lied, but he gained no personal benefit from his position as messenger. They offered him women, wealth and power. However, he lived an ascetic lifestyle and humbled himself, refusing all excessive praise and glory. Your companion is not mad. They said it is the speech of a madman, but the righteous behaviour and justice directed by the Qur'an is clearly not the speech of a madman. And who would know better than his friends, who accepted that he was God's messenger? Furthermore, even non-Muslims attest to the exalted character of Muhammad. John William Draper Four years after the death of Justinian, in 569, was born at Mecca, in Arabia, the man who, of all men, exercised the greatest influence upon the human race, Muhammad. William Montgomery Watt His readiness to undergo persecutions for his beliefs, the high moral character of the men who believed in him and looked up to him as leader, and the greatness of his ultimate achievement, all argue his fundamental integrity. To suppose Muhammad an imposter raises more problems than it solves. Moreover, none of the great figures of history is so poorly appreciated in the West as Muhammad. Rather, Muhammad was an illiterate messenger who submitted himself to his Lord and delivered God's message, the Qur'an, to mankind. The Qur'an is a book of guidance and a reminder for all mankind. It guides those who have sincere hearts to an eternal life in paradise and to protect themselves from the punishment of the hellfire. A cure and mercy for the believers. Has anyone ever lied to you? Not all people are truthful, otherwise we wouldn't need judges and witnesses. It is our responsibility to check who is telling us the truth, because on the Day of Judgment, when we are standing before our Creator, it will be too late. May God guide us to be sincere and accept the truth in all our affairs. Amin. Subhanak Allahum wa bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. How perfect you are, O Allah, and I praise you. I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped but you. I seek your forgiveness and turn to you in repentance.